Hey guys, so I am 18 weeks pregnant. I weighed 133.8 pounds, so that would be 13.8 pounds total gain this pregnancy. The baby this week is the size of a sweet potato, 5.6 inches and 6.7 ounces in weight. This week, baby is yawning, hiccuping, and sucking in your uterus, and also twisting, rolling, kicking, and punching this week as well. As far as ultrasound and prenatals go this week, I have an ultrasound on July the 10th, and that is our gender reveal ultrasound and we'll be finding out whether we're having a boy or a girl, so we will have a gender reveal. Um, I'm assuming that my 19 week video will be posted before the gender reveal. Um, I'll probably know what I'm having in my 19 week video, just for the record. Also, our next prenatal will be July the 17th, and I have that appointment with a new doctor, I think. So, yeah. The symptoms go this week. My symptoms have been tapering off quite a bit, so I don't have as many symptoms this week. Um, I'm feeling like probably throughout the rest of the pregnancy there won't be as many symptoms as there was in the beginning because I'm starting to feel like all of them just kind of shut away and I'm starting to feel normal again. Obviously when I hit the third trimester and I get um, bigger and that kind of thing, obviously I am going to have some newer symptoms, but I'm thinking that some of the older symptoms are gone and hopefully gone for good. My back is sore majority of the time now, um, mostly in my lower back. And I notice it mostly when I'm trying to fall asleep. I will get like really sharp pains in my lower back. I'll also get like leg pains and sh um, sharp pains throughout my calves. Um, sleeping has become a little bit more of a pain. I am also noticing neck pain this week. Um, mostly I'm thinking it is from sleeping on my right side all the time and not being able to sleep on my left or my back or my front. I move a lot when I sleep so I can imagine that my body is used to me tossing and turning and that kind of thing. It's not used to sleeping in the same position all the time. I'm thinking that's where a lot of the pain stuff is coming from. Also another thing to do is sleep. This week, like I said, is mostly, there isn't very many symptoms, um, but as far as like sleeping goes, when I do sleep, my limbs, like my arms and stuff, if I sleep with like my arm above my head or like um, underneath a pillow or something, I can feel like my limbs kind of go numb. Uh, not so much my legs, mostly my arms, but I do get some tingling numbness in my legs too. I am still extremely sensitive to smell, I'm still having headaches. Um, uh, other than that, as far as like symptoms, which is actually a good symptom, I am feeling like a crazy amount of movement. I can like feel the baby like very pronounced. Um, before like I could feel the baby and so could Dustin, like he used to felt the baby, but um, it wasn't like as pronounced, like it wasn't as noticeable and now it's becoming more noticeable and definitely more frequent. As far as cravings go this week, I've been craving like lots of pastas, lasagnas, meatloaf, that kind of thing. I've also been craving noodles, like itchba noodles a lot, um, spaghetti noodles, that kind of thing. Like anything with pasta in it, I've been craving like crazy. I am still craving tons of sweets like chocolate milk, um, milkshakes, ice cream, uh, frozen yogurts, any of that kind of thing, smoothies for sure. Um, ice caps are freaking delicious. I'm trying to stay away from like the caffeine and the coffee and stuff, but every once in a while I just need to let myself and indulge and when I do it's just like incredible. Like I crave them so much worse afterwards. Probably almost better not to indulge. I've been craving yogurt like crazy. There's um I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember what it's called. I only know it by its packaging, but it's like a vanilla yogurt that has mango mixed in and it's not like there's mango chunks, but it's just the way that they like make it or whatever. Anyways, it's mango yogurt and it's delicious and I can't get enough of it and I can eat like a whole container of it in like two days pretty much. I'm still craving fruit like bananas and strawberries and oranges and watermelon and cantaloupe and all that good stuff. Um, we've been eating a lot of it because we've been extremely busy so it's been easier to like go to grab stuff and um, we've been going to like a lot of barbecues and like family functions and that kind of stuff so there's been a lot of fruit and a lot of cracker and meat trays so those are definitely things that I've been craving like crazy. I've been eating a ton of it. I'm still craving Caesar salad. I think I'm going to crave Caesar salad this entire pregnancy. Nothing tastes as good as Caesar salad right now. I don't know why but it's just delicious. I'm still really enjoying veggies and dip 
mostly with just ranch dip. I'm also enjoying crackers and anything like crackers and peanut butter or cheese whiz or cheese or um, crackers and cheese, um, crackers, cheese and meat or pickles or anything like crackers and anything tastes delicious um, especially in soups like soup and crackers is like I love it I don't know why it's just I think it's mostly because it's a fast meal and it's just really like filling and I'm craving anything that is with juice like mostly I'm craving iced tea I've noticed iced tea is like a big one um, I've also been I've also been craving ginger ale for like the carbonated drinks because I'm trying not to drink as much carbonated drinks. Um, we've been buying lots of like bottled water so that I can just keep it in the fridge and I find that I drink a lot more water if I do it that way. Um, probably more than I even need to drink so I've been drinking a lot of water. My aversions this week are the same as every week this pregnancy. I still cannot eat craft dinner and I still will not go, not go anywhere near cooked vegetables at all. Um, I did try some corn on the cob. I can eat corn on the cob, but I still can't eat like cooked carrots or cooked celery or cooked anything like that. I can't, I can't eat any of it. Um, I can't eat peas or anything. I actually, we tried uh, kerneled, kerneled corn because I really love kerneled corn. I can't eat that. I can't eat creamed corn. <laughs> Obviously corn on the cob is like the only vegetable that I've been able to eat that's actually cooked. So I guess I'll show you guys my belly. and three quarters and 34 and a half. 